Good evening, I'm Maya Eaglin. And I'm Jackie Pascal. We begin tonight with continuing coverage of the women's basketball team as the Phoenix prepares for its historic trip to the NCAA tournament. Alex Hager is live in Alumni Gym right now as the team gets ready to learn who it will face in the first round. Alex, what's going on over there? After this weekend, the Elon women's basketball team is the Colonial Athletic Association champion. They earned a spot in the big dance. But what we don't know is who or where they'll be playing. I'm live in Alumni Gym right now. We're behind me. These seats are going to fill up with fans, players, and everyone in between to watch the ESPN Women's Tournament Selection Show to find out the Phoenix next opponent. But first, let's figure out how they got here. The Elon women's basketball team returned to campus yesterday afternoon with a new trophy in hand. On Saturday night, the Phoenix won the CAA championship, punching a ticket to the NCAA National Tournament. That makes them the first team to do so, men or women, in school history. I woke up this morning and, well, after I slept for two hours, <laughs> and was like, man, we're, we're CAA champs, so it's, it's a great feeling. And, you know, I'm not having to pinch myself right now, and it's really feeling real. The Phoenix strung together an impressive campaign at the conference tournament, steamrolling Hofstra and William and Mary by 28 points each in their first two games. Saturday night was the focus of all the action, though, as the Phoenix faced James Madison on the Duke's home court. Elon had never beaten JMU in program history, but they did so in grand fashion to take the title. The Phoenix held the Dukes to 22.8% scoring, marking their best defensive effort against a D1 team in five years. Elon spread their scoring on the offensive end as four players scored in double digits, including Lauren Brown, who had 27 points and went on to win most outstanding player of the tournament. Now, all the team can do is wait. The victory on Saturday earned them an automatic bid to the NCAA tourney, but what they don't know is who or where they'll be playing. The Phoenix next opponent and the future of the season will be determined tonight. Well, I'm here now in Alumni Gym with someone who cares an awful lot about where the team is going next, senior forward Jen Rhodes. Jen, you guys have been through an awful lot in this last weekend. How does it feel to be in this position? I mean, it's really satisfying. I'm really proud of my team. Just so many different emotions. I mean, it's bittersweet. I'm a senior, you know, but I'm happy I'm going out with a bang. Now, not going to make any predictions here, but you guys are headed off to the first big dance in program history. Say maybe the team makes a little bit of a run. What would it take? I mean, I definitely think we'll have to focus in our defense. I mean, that's what we've been preaching all year. So definitely defense, defense and rebounding. I mean, that's what wins games. That's what we can control. So definitely have to focus in on that. Now, we've been following this team all year. And not only are you guys good, it looks like you guys have a lot of fun out there. What makes this team so special? I mean, our chemistry. And we've been playing against, like, with each other for three with like the seniors and then the seniors have been playing with each other for four years. So, I mean, that's a long time to get to know somebody and we just have so much love for one another. So it's not really, we're just teammates. Like we really see each other as family. Well, it's a real special team and I wish you guys the best of luck. And this gym will soon be full of people watching the women's tournament selection show on ESPN starting at 7 PM. We're going to have a lot more coverage of where the Phoenix are going next and what they do there in alumni gym, Alex Hager, back to you guys. 